I used to use benzoyl peroxide for years, so I can tell you the pros and cons. Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Welcome back to the Acne Channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. So most of you guys know the two main topical treatments, which is salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. This video is solely going to focus on benzoyl peroxide, whether it works, whether it delivers long-term results, the drawbacks of benzoyl peroxide and what you should kind of look out for. Um, and I hope this video is going to be super informative. Okay, so I'm going to go right into the pros. Number one, benzoyl peroxide works relatively fast. Salicylic acid is great for exfoliating pores clearing up blackheads and whiteheads but benzoyl peroxide does that as well so benzoyl peroxide not only exfoliates the pores blackheads and whiteheads it also kills the acne causing bacteria it works great for treating inflammatory acne and because it's quite potent it kind of allows your pimple to diminish in a smaller size at a really quicker rate you can use benzoyl peroxide as a spot treatment and as an all-over treatment as well I like to apply a thin layer across my cheeks and my forehead and my nose I personally saw results with in two to three weeks using benzoyl peroxide. I'm gonna insert a video. So it was painful, swollen pimples underneath my skin and I also had them come up to the surface. So these nodules became a cyst. And after using benzoyl peroxide twice a day, so once in the morning and once at night, my pimples started decreasing in size and it was less inflamed. But even though I had these really quick results, I also had many drawbacks, which I'm gonna mention later in the video. I'm gonna hop onto another positive point with benzoyl peroxide, and that leads me to number two. It's anti-inflammatory. So as I said, with active pimples, it's quite swollen, red, inflamed. And with benzoyl peroxide, there is an anti-inflammatory agent. So with my cystic acne, when I had it a couple of years ago, it was really, really red, inflamed, and it's so, so painful. Like, <laughs> You shouldn't! Oh, I hate you. We talk about emotional pain when it comes to severe cystic acne, but also the physical throbbing that we feel underneath our skin, like made me cry myself to sleep at night, and it was just. really traumatic experience but when I started using benzoyl peroxide I felt that it definitely alleviated the pain and when I used it consistently the pain kind of went away. The third positive point about benzoyl peroxide is it's actually very accessible and affordable. So with benzoyl peroxide you can get it over the counter, you don't need a prescription with benzoyl peroxide. There are different percentages, there's 2.5%, 5% and 10%. Now I'm going to tell you a little story, me being super desperate when it came to acne remedies I went and got the highest percentage I got 10% over the counter I was like and that was one of my biggest mistakes I think it's definitely a marketing ploy you want the stronger kind of percentage to get faster results but it's actually doing more damage than good I first used benz peroxide 10% it burnt my skin and it was like red like flesh fresh wound kind of feeling and it was yeah really really tough for me to get through but then so a few months later I was like you know what I read about benzoyl peroxide and so I tried 2.5 percent and 2.5 percent is just as amazing it does its job by killing that acne causing bacteria getting rid of inflammation the only thing is that with these great results there are also side effects that you need to be aware of so this is going to my second segment of the cons number one it can be really really dry and irritate your skin because benzoyl peroxide is so potent it can cause extreme dryness irritation itchiness and redness so I think you have to ask yourself in this situation whether your skin can go through this phase some people ditch the product right away because it shows that it's a negative reaction personally I mean this is just my personal story and and just an FYI that I don't recommend this for you guys but I had to go through the itchiness and the redness and the dryness in order to get the results that I did with benzoyl peroxide. My skin felt itchy around my like my neck and I can just remember wanting to scratch it at night with you know 2.5% to 5% benzoyl peroxide but I saw results I saw that my inflamed zits flattened down and then I realized the best way to actually 
reduce the severity of the itchiness and the redness is follow up with an amazing moisturizer. Moisturizing cancels out that dryness, that redness and the itchiness and I use Cetaphil and Cetaphil is also from your local drugstore, your chemist and it's very very accessible. So when I combine those two benzoyl peroxide with Cetaphil, I didn't experience those side effects. But if you're not using a good moisturizer, you might go through these drawbacks. So just be very, very wary. And again, steer away from 10% benzoyl peroxide. It does more damage than good. It's a marketing ploy. 2.5 to 5% is just as good. I highly recommend you to start from the lower percentages first. And once you're ready, then increase to five and just stop at 5%. The next negative drawback of benzoyl peroxide is it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. I remember going on vacation a couple of years ago and I didn't really take sunscreen seriously because I was like, you know, whatever, a 10 is like really good for my skin actually not and I came back after probably one hour of swimming in the ocean my face was lobster red I'm telling you my sisters freaked out and I was like what the hell why am I so red like my sisters weren't burnt and they didn't use sunscreen and our skin type is very very similar in terms of like how we react to the sun but like I realized it was because of the benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide kind of exfoliates the outer mantle of your skin so this photosensitivity causes you to be more prone to sun damage sunburns and all of that kind of dehydrates your skin so making you more prone to acne another con with benzoyl peroxide is that it is a strong bleaching agent so your towels your bed sheets your pillowcases can be stripped from its color and you're just going to get this patch of like discoloration and you just have to throw them out or you just sleep on it and it looks really weird so just be careful with that i highly recommend you using like white towels white pillowcases <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the way you kind of see it. Benzoyl peroxide as a strong bleaching agent helps with hyperpigmentation. It actually gets rid of that dark purpley red spots as well. It works miracles, but at the same time, it could affect you, you know, your clothes and so it could be kind of an inconvenience. The last con with benzoyl peroxide is actually that it only delivers short term kind of results. I mean, it depends. So if your acne is caused by internal imbalances, which often it is, um, using benzoyl peroxide could be like a maintenance kind of topical treatment but if you're continuously not treating the root cause of your internal imbalances then it's kind of like a band-aid effect with the benzoyl peroxide you're forced to use it for the rest of your life because i remember when i stopped using benzoyl peroxide my acne came back i'll be back and then i started getting cystic acne and I kept using benzoyl peroxide, but it just wouldn't work. I still had really severe throbbing acne. And I realized it's because I need to, to kind of detox and cleanse my body in a way that will support my hormones and support my gut health. So when I did that, I saw long-term results. With benzoyl peroxide, if you wanna come off it, do not go cold turkey. Definitely my number one tip is actually weaning off the benzoyl peroxide. The reason why you break out after stopping benzoyl peroxide like cold turkey is because this topical treatment gets rid of the excess oils. And imagine your skin relied on this topical treatment to handle your excess oils and that element is gone. And so your skin's gonna freak out and overproduce excess oil. So I started off using benzoyl peroxide twice a day, so once in the morning and once at night. Eventually I did once every night and then every other day and eventually three times a week and eventually I didn't use it at all. So my acne has been kept at bay without this dependency on benzoyl peroxide. Also, I wanted to mention that with benzoyl peroxide, I have two main recommendations that I like to use. So this one is called Benzac AC. This is just from my local chemist and I, it's pretty much empty now because I haven't used it for such a long time. And this is not sponsored whatsoever. It's just my personal experience with these two brands. The other one is acne.org. They have done miracles for my skin. I used to use their regimen, um, but again, I stopped using it because my skin was way too line on it and so I found other methods that helped me heal my skin. Just some minor tips as well, avoid sensitive areas such as your eyes and your lips. They become very, very irritated and red quickly. So just steer clear of that. I think that's all for today. Whatever method you pick, I hope it works for you. Big kisses and see you guys next time. Bye.